Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. We have here a challenging exponential equation, x to the power of x equals e. So before we start, for those, uh, any one of you guys who would like to attempt and solve the equation, feel free to pause the video and come back later. Alright, so now, in this equation, how are you going to solve for the variable x? What do you think? It's a very challenging equation, by the way. It looks simple, but we'll see. So in this video, we'll be using the Lambert W function to solve for the value of the variable x. In using the Lambert W function, we should have an equation that's represented in an exponential form and uh, a linear form. So in order for us to uh, utilize the uh, Lambert W function, we should have equation in the form of x times e to the power of x is equal to a constant so like in here in our equation x to the power of x that's our variable and the right hand side is a constant so we have here a constant on the right hand side and to utilize Lambert W function so we have to multiply W to x times e to the power of x so we can extract the value of x so going back to our equation, x to the power of x, how can we transform this uh, x to the power of x into this form, x times e to the power of x? So we can utilize the Lambert W function. So first, we have to take the natural logarithm on both sides of the equation. So we have natural logarithm of x to the power of x is equal to natural logarithm of e, and natural logarithm of e is 1. So we have now, here, moving the exponent x as a coefficient towards the front. So we have x times natural logarithm of x, ln of e, or natural log logarithm of e, is 1. So now if you notice, left-hand side of the equation, we have ln of x and x as a coefficient. So in here, we can express x in terms of e to an exponent. So how are we going to do that? So x can be represented by e to the power of ln of x. Since e to the power of ln is equal to 1, so we'll boil down to the same thing as x. So now value of x is ln of x base e. So we substitute that to this value of x in, in our equations. We write this one first on the left. So ln of x times e to the power of ln of x equals 1. So from our equation. So now, left-hand side of the equation, if you notice, we have in the form of x times e to the power of x, where x here is actually represented by ln of x. So going back to the formula from earlier, we have x times e to the power of x and equal to constant on the right hand side so we have this format of the equation now we have constant on the right we have one and x times e to the power of x is in the form of ln of x times e to the power of ln of x so x here is by the way is represented by ln of x so we can now apply the formula for w lambert function multiplied by x times e to the power of x so we can extract the value of x right so going back to our equation now we're applying the w lambert function to our equation w of ln of x times e to the power of ln of x is equal to w of 1 so we have here now ln of x is equal to w times 1. Transforming our equation into its exponential form by the definition of logarithm, ln is logarithm of base e. So ln base e. So we have x is equal to e to the power of w times 1 equals x. So this is equal to e to the power of w times of 1. So from here now, we can calculate the value of W function of 1. It's from all from alpha, where we can have this value 
Ws of 1 is equal to F wall from alpha entered as product log of 1. 0.5671 And if we equate this uh, to this equation right here, we have on the right hand side the exponent. So we have x is equal to e to the power of Ws of 1. We have 1.7632. That's the value of x, our final answer. But then actually we need to check our answer, right? So we have to check to verify if our answer is correct. So we have the original equation, x to the power of x equals e. So we have here value of x. So we have 1.763, 2 to the power of 1.7632. Is this equal to the value of e? And it turns out that the left-hand side of the equation is 2.718 and the value of E is 2.718. And this is approximation, by the way. Alright, so this just confirmed that the value of X is correct. And so this is now our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Hit that bell so you get updated whenever I have the new videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.